And I told Chappelle we're going to do a countdown. But we're going <laughs> and in, live. We're going in live here on Club Condo. <laughs> but if I full tilt boogie at the sanctuary, you could full tilt boogie at the sanctuary. I don't know if you did it. Oh, I did. All right, Club Condo. Thank okay. you, Phil T. The original Shout out to Phil team T. to Club yeah. Condo. I ain't gonna lie to you. The audio quality was awful. I could barely make out any of it. I don't know what to oh, tell you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm Sorry. talking about it sounded like Phil T had, had drowned in a hallway. <laughs> oh, no. God forbid. God forbid. Yeah. Phil T was doing last gasp. It sounded like he drowned in a hallway and then started to rap. You know, okay. it was like, it was like, oh, okay. I, I hear the beat. We got something going. But Phil T is definitely like, uh, maybe he's in outer space or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, Club Condo okay. might be underwater. You didn't tell me this. Okay. All right. Sam Moore says it did not sound like that pre-show when I tested the audio with him. So, okay. Don't don't blame Sam. All right? Liz, are you talking to me or you? Because <laughs> I know that look in your eye. <laughs> don't kill him. We're all watching. Because I know I did a sound check before the show started. <laughs> look. Okay? Look, I was I wasn't gonna say nothing, but then when the chat called it out, I was like, Rob, I guess we got it. We can't and not acknowledge that Club Condo is like, you know, in a mm -hmm. hole somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right, Club Condo. What is this? I got my I'm stilettos on. Disco ball <laughs> spinning. We're ready to party here on Club Condo every week on Monday. Chappelle and I are gonna be here to bring you. A podcast that's not about strategy, okay? We're here to find the most fun things from the week to talk about on and off of Survivor. I'm very excited for the first time ever to get the chance to talk weekly with Chappelle. Chappelle, how are you? I'm great. Uh, Sam great. says in the chat, you were here too, Chappelle. So I, think I he's was not to... here. Was I here, Rob, for the sound check? Let's talk I about think it. He came in later. Yeah. All right. All right, Sam. Slow down, baby. I had your back. I wouldn't go say nothing. Uh, but yes, I'm here. I'm underwater at Club Condo. I like I like for it to be canon now, Rob, that is underwater. It's an underwater club. I got my disco ball. I got my snorkel. We're gonna have a good time here. Jeff Probst called it Club Condo. That's what we're calling this podcast. And I'm excited to talk about Survivor, but not the not the parts of Survivor I don't understand. I want to talk about the fun stuff because I I'd be missing. Stuff. Okay, yeah, I'd be missing a lot of the other stuff, you know. Okay, well, very excited to get the chance to talk some Survivor with you here today, Chappelle. We have not talked about Survivor since the premiere, so we'll get into that. We'll take questions uh, from the chat. Also, if you have some topics you want us to get into, we could do that as well here as we are rolling along uh the last podcast i will do during the week about survivor so this is it yeah full i get tilt to, boogie i get to end it it's full tip boogie the dance we're going to do a club condo the full yes. tip boogie <laughs> yes that's the it full tilt boogie okay all right <laughs> Chappelle, how are you i'm good i'm so excited i love talking about survivor Every season, I have to listen to you talk about my favorite show with other people, and I'm at home seething. And so now it's my turn to get to talk about it with you every week. And there's so much fun to talk about now because there's 90 minute episodes, there's social media, these survivors. We've seen some of them out in the wild now because they go to mm -hmm. live shows and live events and all kinds of stuff. We have so much to talk about. I'm excited. I'm ready, Rob. I'm jumping out of my skin here, but you have to tell everybody why. Why is this Club Condo? Like what? what Club what Condo. Is this okay. Yeah. So. Let me let me see. Uh, so going back to survive, we were looking for the name. What do we want to call the fun uh, survivor podcast that Rob is going to be doing each week? And really what we did was we had the voicemail show, the feedback show forever. And that was sort of the combination of serious strategy 
and nonsense. And I would feel like that I would kind of like rope a dope the audience of talk about something very smart and then something very dumb and stupid and then go back and forth. What I decided to do here mm -hmm. is let's just put all the strategy in one podcast. That's the feedback show that's has evolved from the patron Q and a that I was doing every week. So to me, it felt like, okay, I'm already doing one podcast where I'm answering strategy questions with the patrons. And now I'm doing another podcast where I'm answering strategy questions. Just put it all in one and then mm -hmm. keep all the nonsense here on the Monday last podcast of the week. And so each week Chappelle and I are going to be joined by guests, sometimes maybe multiple guests. Mm-hmm. You know, I love a group affair. You know, yeah. that that sounds fun. Uh, I don't know if we'll you, get to several guests. Several or guests. seven, seven rule. Seven mm -hmm. rule guest. Maybe several at, in like Jeff Probst's interpretation of maybe maybe four guests. Maybe. So four max or is it up to several? Up to several. Okay. Okay. And so we're here to find the things that are fun. And talk about it here. And so, uh, and why Club Condo? Okay. Yeah. So let me take you back to Survivor 44. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we got into uh, Club Condo. Uh, let me see. Is this it? No, that's Full Tilt Boogie on Survivor. Also, uh, it's still underwater. So, you know, let's just explain it. Okay. That's uh, none, none of my sounds are working, Sam. Still, still underwater, babe. Still underwater. Mm -hmm. At least for me. Maybe, yeah. maybe everybody else is above water. Maybe it's a me thing. Maybe I'm okay. the drama. All right. Well, that's going to really uh, put a crimp in my plan <laughs> for this show. Let's just see what the chat says. This is live, yeah. baby. We just rolling with the punches. Maybe the chat heard it and I'm tripping. But uh, mm -hmm. as far as I could tell, if it was full tilt boogie, it was fully submerged underwater. They say glub glub in the chat. Glub glub. Okay. Yeah. You, you glub don't... glub. Yeah. You don't hear. Uh, let me see. Let me tr try it again. Deep in the depths of the ocean, Rob. I mean, underwater. I am back. furious. I, I can end tell. The show you cannot right end now. the show. I'm you gonna, cannot end it. Nope. You're I'm not leaving. leaving. I'm pulling a you're not leaving. I'm he pulling didn't a quit. He didn't quit, Rob. He just didn't complete the challenge, but only once, even though he quit twice, you know, and basically he just quit the whole game. But you cannot quit, Rob. We're here. It's Club Condo. This is how we're making this happen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Look at you fuming. <laughs> Just want to hey, smash no. every computer in here. Hourglass, right Rob. Smash the hourglass. Yes. You know, we're we're yes. turning See? back the time here, Rob. This, we're going to mm -hmm. act like that did not even happen mm -hmm. because we do mm -hmm. have a ton of stuff to talk about. And we don't need the sound clips. They would make them better. But listen, it's me and you, baby. This is what we do. Okay. All right. All right. So let's talk about it. All right. Club Condo. Yeah, club condo. And mm -hmm. all right. Let me talk about Jelinski. Jelinski, yeah. Chappelle, is a legend. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to know that. I don't yes. think there is. Yes, he a, does. What what survivor player in the Jelinski history is a legend? Hey, Jelinski was above water. Yeah. What survivor player in the history of the show has ever called himself? A legend this much in one episode is like they did, were they feeding him this line? Is there a reason why it was like this? Unclear. Uh, Jelinski went went really for it. I mean, I went back and I watched Jelinski's preseason interview with Mike Bloom, and he was talking up himself how he was going to win this game, he was going to come back and uh, be on Survivor 48. So I, I don't think that Jelinski needed any prompting. Jelinski is falling into my favorite category of survivor this is an archetype that has been around since the beginning uh since uh, around like the 20 right around that area it is called the coach and i love a good coach type character a character that will do something and then lie to you about it with a straight face and completely contradict everything that happens and that was said as if we cannot see them i listened to jelinski's exit press and i thought Maybe I watched a different episode of television because everything he was saying was contrary to what I actually saw. Now, who am I going to believe? King legend Jelinski or my lying ass eyes, Rob? I'm yeah. sorry. I'm with Jelinski. Whatever he said happened, it happened. Your eyes can gaslight you. 
Yeah, Jelinski would never. He would never. In the exit press, I heard Jelinski, well, not even in the exit press, in the episode, I heard Jelinski say that he did not give up. He would never do, I mean, mm-hmm. me and Q are not the type of people to ever give up. Then immediately after, admit that, oh yeah, we gave up. But it was only that once. But I would never quit on a challenge, except that sweat challenge. Not to mention, I already quit on another challenge because I don't want to steal anybody else's vote. I don't want to be mean to nobody. I'm not deceptive. Only to then come tell you that everybody would have done what Jelinski did because nobody else would have been willing to jump out on that ledge, piss off 10 people they won't have to work with for at least four weeks and and, and lose their vote, right? Jelinski said that's his truth and he's sticking to it, even though his truth has changed several times. I love this man. I love him. He is a legend. Jelinski, we salute you, brother. Jelinski is a legend. Amen to that. You got to keep that one on the soundboard forever. Like that, that forever. A legend. And that he is. Rob, Jelinski started talking about himself in the third person. Yeah. And he said at Tribal Council, I've never done this before. This is the first time I've ever done this. Sir, that clip of Jelinski is a legend did not happen at Tribal Council. You had already <laughs> been talking about yourself in the third person. Jelinski, we see you. The sun is up. <laughs> the lights are okay. on, boy. We All see right. you. So I'm glad you brought up Jelinski's exit press. So Jelinski told me and many others in the Survivor Press Corps about how, hey, you know, actually it was Q whose idea it was to throw the challenge, to stop the challenge, okay? Uh, let me go. Let's go to the social media. Uh, Dalton Ross tweets, Survivor star Jelinski says Q first brought up quitting the sweat task and reveals what really happened on the journey. Response... From Q, Quintavious lies. responds, <laughs> lies, exclamation point, exclamation point. But he does say, ha, ha, ha. What do you think, Chappelle? Is the ha, ha, ha doing a lot of work here? That ha, ha, ha should be exhausted from carrying the weight of this tweet. Because the lies itself would have been like, I've seen enough. That's enough. It's either Jelinski's word or Q's word. And I'm taking Q's word over this man because I saw it. But that ha ha ha, it's making me believe that the production people are after my boy Jelinski because he says lies, ha ha ha, like ha ha he he hell, like, you know, chill out Jelinski. They don't need to know what they didn't see. <laughs> like, it feels like Q got away with something here that like maybe Q floated it out. Like, I can't quit. But if I just kind of, man, Jelinski, wouldn't it be crazy if we quit? You know what I'm saying? Jelinski like, well, you know, um. We do have seven real hours, you know? And then he was like, yeah, I mean, we have seven real hours, but, you know, that's not enough. That's obviously not enough to, to, to finish this task. By the end of the episode, we see Q saying, um, we had about two hours and 45 minutes left uh, on that hourglass before we would run out of time. And I'm thinking, how do you know that? How do you know that, Q? Do you, do you, do you read hourglass? That was a very specific time frame. And now I'm starting to question everything I thought I knew. Rob, I'm Team Jelinski here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, I do feel like that Q would have been more mad if he did not quit, if he did not want to quit. He did. You said this. You said, I thought that Q would have probably put up a fight or something like that about this, yeah. right? But we barely get it. I mean, we do get a confessional where Q is saying, uh, you know, Jelinski gave up on us, not the type of ally I want to have, X, Y, Z. But again, it looked like Jelinski didn't have to push that hard. He's like, hey, bro, we yeah. tired, ain't we? And Q like, yeah, if you want to quit, we can quit. He's like, okay, I quit. And he's like, that damn Jelinski, what a quitter. You damn know, Jelinski. so at Tribal Council, uh, Q mm -hmm. also, like Jeff had asked about it, and, and Q used the word we to talk about that we quit the, the challenge after a certain amount of time. And then Jelinski like took it and ran with it. Well, in all seriousness, I Jelinski, come on, man. If you just if you just stuck to one story, I could go with you on this one. But even with Q is doing this we thing, there are moments where I feel like Q is a team player. And so, yes, as a team, they quit. There's no point in burying Jelinski here, especially because they know they're about to vote him out. Maybe he has an idol or something like that. Uh, there are a couple moments where I think people are really trying to bring Jelinski in. But Jelinski is also trying to drag everybody else down with him. Jeff literally says, Jelinski, you're really determined to pull Jess into this boat with you. Because he's like, yeah, I feel like Jess and I are at the bottom. Why Jess in this? What does she do? You know, Q and you drop the ball on the sweat thing. You and I being like, I feel like me and Q. Nope. You know good and well that you're like, ah, Jess, uh, we taking the L for that puzzle. 
Not to mention you gave away your vote, Jelinski. There, you know, you could just sit in that vote alone, but Jelinski is a survivor. You know, whether y'all like it or not, he is going to be up in the conversation for first boot forever. But he also knew, I can't go down for this. Somebody else has to. And if I got to lie on cue, if I got to use the word we, if I got to speak French now when it comes to me and Jess, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. Chappelle, you are so down with Jelinski. Are you gelling? I'm gelling, Rob. Gelling like a felon. Want some melon? I'm gelling. You gelling? Rob, how many different ways? Hey, Chad, you are you gelling? They better be gelling. If they're not gelling, I'm telling. Rob, how many different ways do you think you could spell Jelinski? Because in this episode, there was at least 18 different spellings of Jelinski. They were all jealous. <laughs> So, all right, uh, just pull back the curtain a little bit. I, I know when we posted all of the interviews with everybody, I know uh, at least uh, on Rob's website.com, it was, we posted the the article. I'm like, I, what is this? That Why is it spelled this way? I have it this way. What do we do? What, like, uh, we, uh, we could not spell Jelinski here. Uh, I could not imagine the survivors trying to spell Jelinski. Right. I give the survivor the pass. We do not get one here on RHIP. This is the equivalent of somebody emailing you and your your name is in the email and they still get it wrong. Um, Rob Sestiornino, you know, or oh. uh, or Chappelle with one L or one P. People on Twitter that. constantly tweet me like they don't see my name is at Chappelle's underscore show with two P's and two yeah. L's. So I give these this cast, I give them a pass. I do. I saw Jelinski with a T in it. I was like, oh, that's a different one. Um, you know, but everybody else has made these mistakes before in real life. So I can't be mad at them. I, 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 can't. I don't think the chat is gelling. They're not gelling? The chat? Boy, yeah. <laughs> if y'all not gelling, I'm yelling it. This is crazy. <laughs> that's wild. This is okay. wild. Yeah. Uh, Nolan is gelling. Always gelling. That Nolan, Always he gelling. knows. Yeah, yeah, he be gelling. Okay. All right. Chappelle, then it was a big moment in the episode about uh, the question of uh, what is the meaning of several, okay? Last time I checked, several means seven. Several means seven. Yeah, and Jelinski is bobbing for air there, trying to stay above water on these, on these clips. Several means seven. Oh. Jacob Dude. Jones, air is gelling. Air is always gelling. Have you met him? He stayed gelling. He's gelling. if he ain't gelling, yeah, Penny then is I'm gelling failing. like a felon. There you go, Penny. You know the game. We be, we be gelling. You know, of course we're gelling. Thanks, Haley. Je also gelling. The chat is gelling. Rob, they don't they disavow everything that you're talking about. Yes. Um, but let's can we talk about seven rule, please? Because because I never knew that people, I, and maybe Jelinski's a, a pioneer here. Is there anybody who agreed with Jelinski's train of thought that seven rule, seven, several is like a, a derivative of seven, thus seven must be in the answer? Is that is that what we're doing here? Yeah, I think that's new. I, I had not heard that before. Yeah, okay. So Beth in the chat says, I've heard that several is seven or more. A few is three or more. So there is competing trains of thought. But this, Rob, was new to me. So again. The same Jelinski, who we've seen not talk about himself in third person while talking about himself in third person. The same Jelinski who would never give up, but gave up at least twice in this episode. The same Jelinski that is a legend that, you know, maybe did Jelinski not have the best. is a legend. Is this Jelinski lying to us? Is he gaslighting us? Does he really feel like seven equals seven rule? So interesting. I guess that's a great question. Is he, is he doing a bit? Or does he believe this? Dr. J in the Twitch chat says, I conducted a study in my workplace about seven rule. Out of 35 people, nobody said seven uh, was like several was exactly seven. But over 75 said, 75% said that several is anywhere between four and eight. So still not seven per se, but seven-ish. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe we should start using seven-ish to describe things that are more than several, but more than seven as well. Yeah, I, I think I can get behind that. Several means about seven, not exactly seven. Right, right. Like, uh, you know, approximately, you know, mm -hmm. like it's in the ballpark, you know, you know, but then more than seven is seven-ish. So then it's like, yeah. okay, so if it's eight, it's seven-ish. 
Mm-hmm. You know, like oh, about seven, but several, several could be seven and anything lower than seven. I, I think I can go with that. So if I'm Jelinski and I'm hearing we have seven hours to do this, Q says we got two uh, hours and 45 minutes left. If I'm doing the math with this clock that they don't have, but they're just reading hourglass, maybe I too would have quit the challenge. Yeah. I, I'm Team Jelinski. Team Jelinski. Now, okay. You're Team Jelinski. Obviously, yeah. you're gelling. Pro Jelinski all the way. But is this only because that Jelinski had recently said he wants to be on your podcast? You guys coming to Wait. Oh, I'm going to kick back for a little bit. Hold on. How did I miss that? Yeah. How did I miss that? Is is Jelinski going to be the latest guest on the Recap Kickback podcast at recapkickback.com where I do all the podcasting that I don't do here with you over there? Is that what he's going to do? Because if so, a legendary guest. Yeah. Yeah. I can take it. Now he's, he's gonna to have to he's gonna have to come all the way out the water. A bit. Yeah, he's gonna have to come out all the way out the water. But if he does, you know, come holler at me at the kickback. I would love to do a deep dive. Now I know Rob, you normally do the deep dives with players yes. after the season and stuff yes. like that. You normally get several choices, but I think that if we really wanted to just dive into the thought process of Jelinski, he's gotta explain to you. To not you to, me, me to but to you def- defer my hour with Jelinski to you. Ooh, if you get an hour with everyone, like let's mm-hmm. say you can get an hour with everybody. Yeah, send me Jelinski. Send me, <laughs> send me Jelinski. Let let's chop it up because I got questions about I got questions about seven roll, but I also have questions about this lie and tell the truth challenge because Jelinski made it seem like we all crazy for okay. wanting to lie in that moment. What do you think about that? Could you have pulled that that off? I would have tried, and I think that's the thing that like, everybody is kind of like. Delinsky. He told me also that he uh, it was working. He had it. Yeah, but but he said a lot of stuff. It is mm-hmm. like if you had it, then why did you give it up? Now Jelinski said everybody. I, like, I don't believe. I don't believe that everybody would have lied, even though the two people he was working with were willing to lie. Uh, they, uh, but he was like, I was the only one in the position who had to lie. So fine. But he said he told them, and everybody was like, "Boy, I would have lied. I told the best lie." And, I would look, I don't lie. I would lie. I don't care, but I'll make up a good lie. You know, like that's what he's, that's what everybody was saying. And he was like, I don't believe that. I I just don't believe that because do you lose your vote now? Piss off the six people who have the, well, the five people you're working with now, or do you lose your vote? Well, do you gain an extra vote, but piss off people that you might not ever see again on a tribe? Mm -hmm. People who could literally get voted out that night. Now you could make those people mad. Or you could come make your very forgiving tribe, you know, very mad at you. But they'll get they'll forgive you because you're a legend. See, that's what I'm like, bro. I, I hear you. I will hear what you're saying. You don't want to get it to merge. And all the people at the merge are like, Jelinski, you stole Maria's vote. And everybody's like, well, she we voted her out. So, you know, thanks. You're like, what if they're not mad? What if they're mad? And then Jelinski has 10 people all mad at him for stealing sweet Maria's vote. He couldn't do that. So he said, let's just, I will sacrifice my vote because that's what anybody would do in my situation. And I just think that's commendable. I, I'm team Jelinski. Team Jelinski. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A tough spot for uh, for Jelinski. It, it wasn't that tough. You got to try. To go. He yeah. ran, his hand went up so fast. Jelinski. Jelinski. Jelinski said, I'm just not a very deceptive person. Jelinski. When you applied for this show, what exactly did you think you were going to have to do here? I just want to know, like, if if deceit is not the game you were going to play, was this a winning strategy to say, I'm not deceptive, so I'm not going to deceive if it will make people mad? Mm-hmm. I'm just... I'm just trying to follow Jelinski logic. That's all. If I can, if he can take me on the journey during our hour long deep dive, that's all I want to know because it feels like Jelinski came out there with a plan, but then Maria's staring at him. Tevin stared at him. It's hot on the beach. He tried to lie. Nobody's buying it. And he folded like a lawn chair, folded like a paper towel. Yeah. Folded like a dryer sheet. It's just like, you know, just, he just, it, it had nothing. And I think that's okay. But don't lie to us, Jelinski. Lie to them. You can tell me, Chappelle. Well, I'm jelling, babe. You ain't jelling, okay. Rob. We're je- we're still jelling. We're just still That's jelling. That's what I'm saying. We jelling. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Uh, people are saying that you definitely could have pulled this off. They watched the RHAP traders, Chappelle. P.S. Snap Look, says it. Okay, 
first of all, T S Snap, you're very kind. But the 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 thing I did on the trade was I tried. You have to try. You don't know what you can do until you try. Jelinski, I think if you had kept your mind to it, you might have gotten a different out uh like outcome. But Jelinski, even if, even if you thought, hey, this is a great chance for me to make 10 allies outside of my own tribe. I hear you, brother. I respect that. Why you didn't come lie to your own tribe? Why did you tell them you chose your 10 allies that emerged the over truth. them? You did not have to tell them the truth. You absolutely did not have to tell them the truth. You should have said, bro, we played a game. Maria caught me lying and you I lost. I believe what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I lost. Technically, just lie and say, I did the assignment and failed. People might say, damn, that sucks. But at least he tried. But that mm -hmm. makes a second quit that you won't own up to, Jelinski. God damn it, Jelinski. I'm trying here. I'm gelling. God. All right. All right. Jelinski has been active on social media also, Chappelle. He been, he been lying. Jelinski don't lie. I'm okay. not even going to do that. There's uh, no lying in Jelinski. There's actually that, lying in Jelinski. That there is amused lying. me. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this weekend, uh, let's bring in a tweet from Jelinski uh, at david c jelinski over okay. on social media on twitter uh jelinski said this is where legends are made and check checkbox emoji hashtag survivor mm -hmm. 46 hashtag survivor but the part that tickled me when i read this was 5 39 a.m my time uh mm -hmm. that's that 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 reads 2 39 a.m jelinski time yeah, he's up late. He he's he he been workshopping this one. You know, he 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 had it in the drafts. It was simmering. It was cooking. And Jalis is like, should I deploy the tweet? Is it <laughs> if I drop it now, is anybody gonna see it? You yeah. know, like I probably won't go viral and like that. Listen, Jalajinski. That's what we should be calling this man, Jaladinski. because this Jelinski is a legend in the making. That part. He said what he said. Yes. This is where legends are made, Rob. Are we of the first boots in the new era? Is he not going to be the most iconic one? Most iconic of the first boots? Yeah, I don't think yeah. there's anybody has uh There's really... nothing to think about, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Rob, first of all, don't ever disrespect Jelinski like that. He did not Sorry. give us that classic episode of Survivor in the new era for you to not call him Jelinski. The man is a legend. He is the most iconic boot in the new era, and it's not even close. Jelinski? Jelinski. Okay. All right. Yeah. Several seasons say, have passed. Say roughly. it one more time for me. Jelinski. 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 Okay. Yes, with <laughs> a T. Good. You got to put the T in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got another one for you. Okay? Okay. Uh, All right, let's talk about it. Chappelle, you're ready. You're gelling. Jelling, been gelling. Okay? Are you ready for the Jelinski's got a big update? Okay. Okay. He says, y'all just wait. The merch is still coming. It's taking some time because it's going to be dot, dot, dot legendary. Bro, the, the Jelinski merch is coming. Ja legendary. Ja legendary. What? If the, if the, hoodie don't say, if the hoodie don't say ja legendary, I don't want it. Because it's right there. <laughs> the legendary. It's right there. It's right there. I'm sorry. The man yeah. is a genius. The branding is already on point. Give it to me. The legendary. I want the hoodie. Can I wear the hoodie to Chicago? <laughs> the legendary. Yeah. It'll be, yeah. Okay. What? I mean, is it only shirts? Is there any other Jelinski merch that you can uh, come up with? Um... He's a he's a very tall individual, like uh, probably something Jelinski, the legendary pants. But mm -hmm. I want to, you know, you I don't know if you remember Fat Farm and Baby Fat, but they used to have the word like oh, fat yeah. on the on the ass part or baby on the ass part. Like it's gonna say the legendary, but on the on the booty part, that's how the pants <laughs> gonna be made. Yeah. So when I walk by, you see that <laughs> that that ass the legendary. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'd be like, you see it? Can you say it? Somebody it. has an ass that's the legendary. If you're wearing the legendary merch, you can, <laughs> Rob. That's the point. The the yeah. advertisement is right there. The advertisement is yeah. writing itself. I think you just uh, asked the person if they're gelling. 
I think. And they say, and and they do like the breakaway, like like mm-hmm. I'm jelling. It's yeah. legendary. They're like, oh, it's legendary. But <laughs> if he was a wrestler, that would be how his uh, theme song played, like legendary. And it's like, you think you know me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Edge. Yes, it's yeah. Jaledge. <laughs> Jaledge. Yeah. Jaledge and Christian. The merch is writing itself. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, so then let's go back to this this tweet about the the merch that okay, Jelinski tells us about about his merch. Uh this was on Saturday afternoon. Um, this person uh says, You just lost me five hundred dollars. Uh, I'm not sure if this person, Greg Fairbanks, said that they were in some kind of survivor pool, but somehow Jelinski was responsible for them losing five hundred dollars. Almost several hundred dollars. Almost several. Not quite seven real, but almost. Um, Greg Fairbanks, I think the issue is you. I think you might be the problem here. Because I don't know how Jelinski lost you $500. Like, I don't know what you did, what Jelinski did. But I know you bet not have bet $500 on Jelinski winning this Survivor game. Jelinski like I, told people to that in his preseason interview with, with Mike Bloom, he told everybody, make Jelinski your winner pick. He guaranteed it. Did he say put $500 on it, Rob? Five, no, $500. No. That's what Greg Fairbanks, you get what you deserve. I, <laughs> you, you, honestly, this is your fault. You're the problem because when we did our draft, Rob, Jelinski, I don't want to spoil the draft too much. Yeah. But look he, what Jelinski's he, response was. He says, just Martin Gallet. And put a thousand dollars on me next time. I'll get you your money back. You think Margot Martindale? <laughs> yeah, character actress Margot Martindale. From Iconic. The, from the show that Cochran wrote with JB Smoove. And Will uh, yeah, and, Bo- and Bojack Horseman. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's listen, that's the only Margot Martindale I know. So what does it mean when somebody says to Martindale something? Um, I they see that in my quick Google search, I see a Martingale betting system. Uh, oh, so, so like this, this is the Vegas thing is a uh, class of betting strategies in the 18th century France. So probably like mm-hmm. double or nothing. Oh, okay. So like we we gonna double up, call it a Margo, and <laughs> and and get a th- put a thousand on it, and Jelinski's gonna get the money back next time he plays. I think Jelinski is a legend. That part. I think we should be figuring out a way or uh, the game that we could bet. You know, a five hundred dollars on for Jelinski because I just don't want to put my money on a Survivor game. No disrespect to Jelinski. Yeah. Again, the the edit buried this man. Okay, because I believe him. I believe everything the man said. I don't know which which thing that he said that I believe because he said a bunch of stuff that contradicts himself. But I whatever he said, he said I he I I agree. But is there a better game for Jelinski? Because hmm. I I was thinking if he's not deceptive, are we even in the right realm here? <laughs> Okay, well, Mike Bloom tweeted, uh, send uh, Jelinski to the traders. What is what is he gonna do there? Hmm. Well, you have you would know he's not lying. Yes. So he'd be an amazing faithful because out of the gate, you know, if Jelin you put a little pressure on Jelinski, best faithful of all time. Mm-hmm. If he is a trader. I just don't know if that's the role he's supposed to play. You know, I think they're yeah. in this world, you got two types of people. You got Titans and Rebels. You got traitors and faithful. <laughs> you, you know, like you got this, it just you put these people in these categories. And Jelinski, he's a faithful. I'm faithful to Jelinski. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll never turn. Never, never. There's nothing Jelinski could do to, to like y'all could never make me hate this man. Ever. Ever. Okay. You're gonna, you're gelling. Hey, I'm gelling and dispelling all the rumors and all the lies <laughs> about Jelinski. Okay. Uh, anything else about Jelinski you want to make sure we cover tonight? I mean, the man is, let me be very clear. The man yeah. is an icon. He is a legend. We have seen players come and go in Survivor history that nobody remembers. Jelinski will be remembered if he ever gets the chance to play again. There, He could not do any worse than he did this time. The, mm-hmm. the, the, like, the sky's the limit. And so if y'all tell me Jelinski's going to play again, if we have to vote somebody into second chances, my vote's on Jelinski. I'm pushing the Jelinski. I'm propelling and gelling, Rob. Jelinski to the top of my vote. He's I'm coming back for second what you're chances. Selling. You should be. 
Because I'm foretelling that Jelinski come back. Okay. It's happening. The boys excelling. <laughs> We're all jelling. <laughs> Rob, stop jealous. laughing. Stop dwelling on this. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. God. All right. This was this was compelling. This whole conversation about sure. Jelinski. I very, didn't think it would last. So. It's been 35 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you All right. do you want me to retell it? No, stop. No, <laughs> okay. no, no, no more yelling. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm All done. right. Let's talk about uh, another tribe. Okay. We spent so much time mm -hmm. on, uh, and, and rightfully so, with the legend. Jolinski is a legend. <laughs> no Let's short talk selling. to you about another uh, alliance that was formed this week. Uh, on Survivor, we had, we've gotten into a very meta age of Survivor. Last season, we had the, uh, what, what's it called? Hanging with the boys, Top Gun montage. Oh, yeah. We got the Andy Griffith Alliance, and then Survivor took us inside the Andy Griffith show for Tevin mm -hmm. and Hunter. First off, Chappelle, what, what's your familiarity with the Andy Griffith show? Uh, I So I was... Uh, uh, I was born well after this show yes, <laughs> started yes. to air, but the show was on television on different networks when I was a wee lad. And so I've seen the Andy Griffith show a number of times. It has one of the most iconic theme songs ever composed by Earl Hagen. And so, you know, oh, wow. yeah. You know I, so who wrote was, the Andy Griffith theme song? I just, uh, uh, Wikipedia, Rob, please, yeah. please stop it. Yeah. But no, it's, listen. Great theme, great show. It's in black and white. It's fun. I didn't think that it would make its way onto Survivor in the year of our Lord, 2024. But yet, here we are. Yeah. How did this even come up? Um. Well, Tevin really likes Andy Griffith. And so uh, because of that, I guess he was like, yeah, this this worked for me. Like, I, I would love, I like Tevin, I like uh, like Andy Griffith. And then I think Hunter also is a fan of Andy Griffith. And though they, they bond on that because Hunter doesn't know Taylor Swift, but he knows Andy Griffith. Mm-hmm. Chappelle, if you were on Survivor, what what uh, old show would you make an alliance with somebody? Rob, this is kind of like the question I've been like someone I've been dying for somebody to ask me something like this because I love yes. old television shows. Uh, like what is the Be Bewitched Alliance, the Dick Van Dyke Show Be Alliance, uh, the um, the Welcome Back Cotter Alliance? That would be my alliance. That would be the one. Welcome be Back the one. Cotter. So the, what's who's in the Welcome Back Cotter Alliance? Uh, obviously, got Jelinski. A, Jelinski, and he's one of the yeah. sweat hogs. Yeah, who is that? You need you back here when you need you. That's what I was talking about. Like, I would, I would be corralling my people with that. Forget a, a camp song. You sing mm -hmm. that theme song, and you got to know who your people are. Yeah, so it's like a guys' alliance, the Welcome Back Cotter Alliance. Yeah, that would be the guys' alliance. But then you need like, uh, like I, I think a Charlie's Angel style alliance. This is. I, well, there is about Charlie's it. Angels. Right, but I'm saying, now that we're talking about it, a couple older properties slid their way into this. I think I heard Dumb and Dumber Alliance, yeah. uh, the Daphne and Shaggy Alliance, yes. the Charlie's Angels Alliance, and Andy Griffith. So I don't want to pick on Andy Griffith, but there are other options out here as well. Um, what is the, the was it the Rhoda Alliance? We could do that. <laughs> yeah. Who's in the Rhoda Alliance? I mean, Golden Girls would be a great The one. Golden Girls Alliance, yeah. You know? like, that's like the middle-aged mafia women. Yeah, that's you know, the middle-aged mafia. I guess they, yeah. they already got to that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. We, we could do this. We we could really do this. The Different Strokes Alliance, the Day One Strokes Alliance. Who's in the Different Strokes Alliance? How, how, what does that, how does that work out? It's like two people that get like adopted by somebody? Yeah, like uh, an older white gentleman brings in two black players underneath his wing. So it's got to be Tim. So Tim will be in that alliance and Tevin. Or, or you know, and then like, uh, who's an old black man, uh, with an old white man who can bring him in, Mister, uh, Mister Drummond of sorts. And yeah. then, yeah, like we could do Pascal this all day, type, right? Yeah, Pascal type, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think Pascal's adopting any black kids. I don't know. <laughs> I, if I had to put my bingo, uh, my, it my looked bingo, like chip maybe for a minute, but it didn't end up working out that way. Yeah, I must say, because Sean tried, and it's just, I haven't passed. Some about Sean just it's really didn't gel. Yeah. It didn't gel with, with Sean. Yeah, it was something about Sean that just didn't sit right with dear old Pascal. And uh, Pascal would be a part of the Night Court Alliance, you know? Because <laughs> he's a judge. The the, yeah, because he's a judge. The In the Heat of the Night Alliance. In the Heat <laughs> of the Night. Is that a sitcom, yeah. though? In the Heat of the Night? Yeah. I've never laughed at in the heat of the night. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is 
that's fine. I can do this yeah. all day. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but I guess keep keep the suggestions coming for more Survivor sitcom alliances uh, that we could have. Have we ever had a sitcom alliance before? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that they in the old days, I think they would have uh, shut. They that, would shut it down. Uh, shut it down. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they wouldn't let y'all make like. First of all, you're not getting these songs in the episodes. I mean, you famously got yelled at for trying to incorporate some music that was not licensed, um, but yeah. also probably free music right. because what well, nobody's right. gonna come after you for that. Do, do you realize <laughs> what would have happened if I was like, uh, "Hey, Alex, Jenna, Heidi, like, uh, let's be the Friends Alliance." We would have yeah. been uh, gotten the hook immediately. Yeah. Or you pick you pick two people. You're like, uh, we're three's company. You know, uh, you know. <laughs> like, I, I think yeah, three's yeah, company would, would be a great alliance. Yeah, it would. But there has to be four people in the alliance because you need uh, the is it Mr. Hurley? That's his name. Mr. Furley. He's already Furley. in the Andy Griffith Alliance. See, he's in both. Listen, a strategic <laughs> mastermind. If we Brett steal this, he's winning it all. Mr. Furley is the person that's in the Andy Griffith Alliance and the Three's Company Alliance. He's he's doing it all. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't even let Lisa Welch be in the Facts of Life Alliance. Okay, so if Lisa Welch, we know it's Blair in that alliance. So uh, let's let's break this down. Uh, so Abby Maria would be who? She uh, she Mrs. G <laughs> was it Mrs. Garrett? I think Girl. ironically, I think that Lisa Welch, I think was Mrs. Garrett there. I think I think so too. Yeah, I think at that point she's. Just... <laughs> I can do this. I think, I think RC was actually Blair. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. She doesn't give me 2D vibes. No. <laughs> I don't think they had 2D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't have a 2D in Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh that's the that's what's going on over in the uh Andy Griffith Alliance. Uh that we haven't really touched a lot about Tevin though. How great is Tevin? Tevin's awesome. Tevin, Tevin is amazing. Tevin, I, I will always stand by the moment I heard Tevin talking to Mike Bloom. I'd never felt more jealous of a yes. human ever because I, I think I'm Mike Bloom's best friend, but I know that it's Tevin now because they just bonded so quickly. He speaks like, like, and so like, uh, it's grandiose when he talks. Right. And yes. I'm like, I'm, I'm just enthralled in all the language, but also he's very funny. He seems to have a, a good eye for strategy. Uh, and, I, I think it was Soda, but she described uh, him in the challenge as jumping on that course like a starving man on a Christmas ham. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm not quite sure why that's what he was giving to Soda, but when he jumped on that course like a starving man on a Christmas ham, I felt that. I did. All I could get was Christmas ham. That was the only part of it that I got. Uh, and I'm glad that you were able to uh, decode what she said. Like I got Tiffany great ears. No, yeah, yeah. I got I got amazing ears. I can hear a rat piss on cotton, Rob. I'm from Texas. This is what we do. We we have absurd sayings like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I heard her say it, I said, like, "Girl, I hear you, boy. That Tevin, hey, he out there like a Christmas ham, you know." So mm -hmm. I got it. I see it. Tevin yeah. is the moment. Don't forget he's the moment. He's yeah. the moment. Uh, yeah, super excited that he's here. All right, uh, let's let's switch tribes, okay? Let's go. Okay. Let's talk about the over on the Sega tribe. And we mentioned Charlie's Angels, and it looks mm. like that Charlie could be the person who ends up flipping over and going off with the women. And it seems like that uh, the women might have the numbers there once they have Charlie on board. Um, but Tim is concerned. You know, Tim started mm. off, he was in kind of like the mom and dad alliance, but then ultimately he feels like things are, are not going well right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's like, I'm in the parent alliance. I got kids. Maria got kids. That's cool. But I'm starting to see these women duck off and talk to each other. And I know this game and I know, look, I, there are two types of women's out here. There are moms and grandmas. Yes. And and he knows both of those yes, types he, of women. So, all right. So Tim, he said, look, uh, he's um, all for the women's empowerment. But I here's what I know. I have a wife. I have a wife. grandma. Like I know how they operate. <laughs> What's a going wife on with and Tim's a grandma? Wife and grandma. Listen, there are two types of women in this world: wives and grandmas. And you got to be able to sort these women into that. Either you're a wife or a grandma, and there's nothing in between. So if you're if you follow one of those categories, Tim knows exactly how to deal with you in a game of Survivor. Interesting. I thought that he was talking about. So he has a, he has his wife. He has his grandma. He knows how they are. You're saying that, no, what Tim is saying is that 
the women you, there are two types of women in that you mm -hmm. will meet your wife and your grandma you will meet wives in, in this world there are wives and there are grandmas we got two different tribes heroes versus villains wives versus grandmas we do you know the next season of survivor survivor australian 47 survivor yeah yeah australian survivor wives versus grandmas mm -hmm. coming soon and, and look and, and not to gender either of those titles either, because in, in Australian Survivor, it can literally mean anything. But here, <laughs> Tim is saying that he got he got the cheat codes. He's met his wife, he's met his grandma, and he knows exactly how these women are going to play this game. They're going to come after the guys, Rob. Yeah. I think he said they're in cahoots, the wives and the grandmas. Wouldn't I have not found this to be, in my experience, I feel like that my, my wife and my grandma were never both on the same side against me. Yes, but see, it, you know, if if God see it fit, one day your wife will be a grandma, and then these things will align like that. Mm -hmm. Like see, like yes. see, it? like just like it's like an eclipse. Like one yes. day, like these things will merge. Now, will a wife and a grandma ever be on the same page? Probably not. But one day, they just mm -hmm. might be the same person, you know. And then that that is the sweet spot. They call it harmonic convergence. A harmonic <laughs> convergence. Wow. Do do not do not. <laughs> Is that the hashtag? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, it happens. That, look, this is listen. This is Tim telling us his view of the game. Tim is playing Survivor. Chappelle is not playing Survivor. So who are me to question him? Right now, he seems like he's doing fine. Okay. Where does Ben fit into the Charlie's Angels versus? I feel like he's just like left holding the bag with Tim. Okay, but but Ben is a part of the Dumb and Dumber Alliance. Remember? Mm -hmm. So is that even real? Him, was the Daphne and, and Shaggy Alliance real? <laughs> no. The the realest part about that is Jelinski being Shaggy because, yeah, <laughs> we, the real ones know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> real ones know. But yeah, so Ben and uh Ben and Charlie. Uh, they do the challenge. They're, they're, they're trying to figure out the puzzle. The puzzle to me was difficult. So I am not going to judge them at all, but they realized that they got the answer wrong. They time ran out on the, on the savvy challenge. And they said, we could be the dumb and dumber Alliance. And I think in survivor, every Alliance matters because if you can say, Hey, remember that thing we did together that bonded us, that's us. We're you're dumb and I'm dumber. Now, Rob, you, you seem like, a, I feel like you've seen dumb and dumber. I've definitely seen it. Yes. Yeah. So can you like who is our dumb and who is our dumber in this alliance? Because they have to who's be one, Jim one... Carrey and who's uh, uh Jeff Daniels. Jeff, Jeff Daniels. Yeah, uh, yeah. Lloyd uh, and Harry. If you, Lloyd if you and will. Harry. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Does either of them have a gap in between their teeth? Um, I don't maybe Ben. I just yeah. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I feel like uh Ch Charlie's Charlie, giving me yeah. he's giving me more than Jim Carrey. Yeah, he's giving me Lloyd. He's giving me Lloyd. Ben is Harry. See that alliance right there. We'll we'll stick together moving forward. I I, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I want to go back to uh, the Yanu tribe and uh, let's talk about Banu. We haven't really talked too much about him. How do you feel about Banu? I like. I love Banu. I love Banu so much. I love the idea that he became a citizen and immediately applied for Survivor because that was the only thing stopping him from living yep. his dream. Um, during the uh, the preseason, you and I, we had spoke about Banu uh, on, during the draft. And you said, don't you think Banu was the type of person to give the plan away? Like he would just be jumping out of his skin to do that. And that tribal council, I think this man proved you right. Because he's like, listen, I want to vote out Jelinski. I do. But he's such a good kid. It's like, well, Bonham, you shouldn't be saying that right now. We're about to, we're literally about to vote him out. We hope he doesn't have an idol. Let's, let's keep him thinking that it's Jess. But Banu, he's too much of like a loyal, you know, mm -hmm. he, he's just, he's too good. And I, and I love him. And I'm hoping that um, he can bounce back from him, from his like, it's time to vote, I guess. Like, yeah. you know, he said it. Which it was Jeff very. Asked him a question. Was, and, and he said that, uh, it's time to vote. Yeah, it was like his uh it was his uh um sitcom catchphrase, like that's my mama, you know, or like did I do that? It's like, oh Bonnie, what do you think about the situation? <laughs> it's time to vote. Then I was like, <laughs> he said it, he said the thing. Uh T Bonnie, I love that guy. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. So Banu, uh, we saw him. He was out looking for food as soon as uh, they got to the beach. Uh, he found uh, first. He found uh, sweet papaya. Sweet papaya. <laughs> sweet papaya. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Um, that made me laugh every time I heard him say that. Okay. Then uh, he went for, I guess, uh, was going for a little bit more of uh, some protein because Banu wants to get some ants. And he went to go and started eating the ants and made it seem like he does this regularly back home. <laughs> I mean, look, if, if, if you meet an ant and she mm -hmm. wants you to eat her, who are me to judge? They're, they're tiny, there's two they're types tiny of bugs. women in this world. Uh, no, wives that, and ants. That, yeah. I, we're talking. No, we're okay. talking about the insects here. Okay? okay, I I would eat someone's ant if they had an ant and it looked like it tasted good. Does like, it tell ant me this ever look like it tastes good? I'm ants be looking bad as hell, and I mean bad like Michael Jackson bad, like bow, like <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't bad. Boy, she jelly. That ass is jelly. Jelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's a> legendary. <laughs> the, 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 do you, uh, well, well, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk about the gecko in a minute. Should they carry a giant ant next? Yeah. Listen, our ants need love too. You know, big, small, whatever. Yeah. Mr. Roybot yeah. says Lion King told me that eating bugs is fine. So Banu might have this one. People describe them as slimy yet satisfying, or at least um, <laughs> Timon did. You know, Pumba. I take yeah. I take Timon and Pumba's word for it. Yeah, everybody always like on day one is like, oh, I'm gonna eat bugs. You gotta get out the way. You gotta really mm -hmm. come out and just like like just dive headfirst into an ant, be uh, ant bed, and then like, okay, you got out your system. Now we can start to to ration. Some people don't have any choice, Rob, because we found out in this episode that is it. Um, Liz is allergic Liz. to chicken, coconuts. Rice, you have a lot of air, food allergies. Water. I do, and I told you that's why I could never go on the show. But Rob, I, I swear, and I say this on everything I love. If I'm allergic to chicken, just take me. It's it's my time is up. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I've given up so much for my allergies <laughs> that I'm willing to go. It's my time. I'm quitting like Jelinski. <laughs> like I'm sorry, I only quit one time, but it'll be the time when I find out that I'm allergic to ants. Yeah. Uh, she gets brain fog from eggs too. I can't do it. That's also mm -hmm. chicken. Egg is chicken. I don't care what yeah. anybody says. Yeah, I'm gelling and repelling. If I'm not, <laughs> if look, I'm not eating chicken. It's not. I don't want to be here. It's not for me. Yeah. Is it, any part of you swelling if you uh, eat <laughs> something you're allergic to? <laughs> is your throat <laughs> swelling? Yeah, I got a shellfish allergy. You just, you should see what happens when people start shelling. Okay, when they're shelling, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. So Liz also talked about how, like, hey, you don't need to worry about anything around me. That if somebody's eating something that you're allergic to around you, does it bother you? It depends on it depends on the item. So like, you yeah. can eat shellfish around me. I cannot touch the shellfish. They're cross contamination. So you know, Rob, we went to New Orleans recently yes. for the RHAP live event. But yes. these people, the new the new listeners, might not know that. Uh, right. And uh, I, I I was at a restaurant and they gave me the bread and I told them up front like, hey, you know, just just so you know. I can't do shellfish, so, you know, whatever. And they're like, okay, cool, but we should let you know that the garlic toast, we grill it on the same grill that we use the shrimp. And I was like, that should be fine. That's That shouldn't trigger any allergies. Very quickly after, I'm like whispering in Beth's ear, like, Beth, I'm dying, I have to go. So I had to rush over to CBS on the corner, like bourbon and whatever, and like just like start pounding goddamn Benadryls you know, oh just on the street corner. Yeah, because I thought it was a rap. I thought I was going to die on a rap event. You know what I'm saying? Like it was crazy. I survived, but it was close. It was close. No, no cross contamination for me. I'm very worried about Liz. What is she going to do to survive? She says, don't worry about it. I, but I am. I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> we should all be concerned. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, she'll figure it out, right? She she got to find a fish. I, the, we don't know. We don't have any medevacs in the season. Let's just be clear, right? We know we don't. We would know I, if we had not a medevac. That I know season. of. Yeah. Yeah. So I think she's fine. I think she's fine. Mm -hmm. I just I just am concerned. Anybody who tells me that they're allergic to chicken and then they eggs make their brain do weird stuff, I'm like, all right, you know, I should be concerned about this person. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Chappelle. Can I bring in? Uh, I have some. Uh, I have an update that has come in. Hold okay. on. Okay. 
Talk to me. Breaking news are happening now. I have an update from the home office of Rob has a podcast. Okay. What, okay. Yes. What's going on? Of course. Uh, at Rob has a podcast. Uh, one of the ways that our community of fans helps support these shows is by becoming a patron. And mm. we have certain tiers of which people can become a patron of Rob has a podcast. And so uh that this is just uh this is just come in just live and 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 just activated a brand new patron tier has opened up it's called the jelinski yes for just Jelinski. several dollars a month several dollars a month not get five, access not to 10, the patron podcast several. feed and discord what? I, I love the Discord access. That's that's very attractive. You know, yes. I think that it, if you're gonna if you're gonna be a patron, the Jelinski tier is where you should start. I think the legendary tier, that's where it is. Yes. The Jelinski, several dollars a month. And just like Jelinski will only be available for a limited time. Yeah, here for a good time, not a long time. Or maybe we're lying and he's here forever. Who knows? It's Jelinski. Okay. Well, um, it's not gonna be here for a long time. Not Much a like long Jelinski, time at all. One week. We're giving it one, one week for the Jelinski. But it might be back, Rob. We're not gonna count my boy out. Jelinski's what is it, like the coming. McRib? I, Jelinski said he might play again. He said mm -hmm. he might play again, and if he does, it will be legendary. It'll be legendary. Wait, Chappelle, I want to talk to you about the gecko this week. Yeah, that calling it a gecko is really weird because geckos, in my knowledge, are small. This thing is more like. Geckozilla. Like these are large. This thing was 500 pounds and they have to carry it. And uh, it just, I knew the moment they said there's a big old uh, gecko right there. I was like, oh, okay. This is going to mm -hmm. be awful. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's Jeff talking about the gecko. Mm -hmm. It's to the top of a ramp where you will be confronted with the biggest gecko you have ever seen. Long tail, bloodshot eyes. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a lot going on. Like I said, he described the the Godzilla version of of, of, of Gecko. Do you remember So B? So B? Like, yeah. oh, like the drink? The drinks. They had the geckos yeah. on there. That was the first thing my mind went to was the So B drinks. I think I think it's gone. I think So B is out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they make that anymore. Yeah. It was kind of like uh uh, iced tea yeah it was like yeah it's like iced tea uh or i don't know I, I just know it was like very miami very like bright colors but they had the big geckos and that's where my mind mm -hmm. went when i saw this like challenge. millennial snapple no no i think i think snapple like is it like just spans all the generations <laughs> i love a good snapple you pop the cap yeah. and then there's the, the 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 cat the catchy phrase underneath there. You know, you never know the snapple fact that you're gonna learn of the of the week. Mm hmm Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. What happened? What happened to Sobe? Uh did they go out of business or are they only in rare parts of the world now? Okay. Uh this is uh do I click on this on this Reddit thread? Uh Ooh. they say uh pretty much died during COVID due to material Damn. restrictions at the time. COVID <laughs> killed it? COVID killed Sobe. But look, survivors coming reviving. back in the new era. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it apparently call this show Reviver because it's bringing back Sobe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, boy, people had some. Uh, there's some wild flavors of of Sobe, Chappelle. Look at look at this. Look at how okay. look at how colorful uh, this was. Yeah, look like the psych the psychedelic salamander. <laughs> yeah, look at these. Uh, looks Ooh, like got, uh, tsunami. tsunami. Okay, that sounds. <laughs> Uh, terrifying. That, it looks like is there a Liz Blizz? Liz Blizz? Morning Patrol? Morning Patrol? What exactly is this? <laughs> Are these drinks? <laughs> this is the Sobe. Ironically, Liz can't drink any of these. No, she's allergic to all this stuff. Except maybe yeah. Liz Blizz. Maybe she's not allergic to that. That's the one she could have. You the have Blizz. to you make it using her like lifeblood. You know, it's like she just she actually makes is the, the 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 brewer of Liz Bliss. Yeah. Chappelle, but what animal should they make next? We've gotten the snake now. We've gotten the gecko. Where does Survivor go next for these giant challenges? Or do we stick with the gecko and then just have more more challenges involving the giant gecko? The gecko is on the uh, on the buff. 
it's yeah. on the logo now. So I think that's the theme of the season. I think every season we do get, like they say, we don't get themes, but but the buffs be telling us some of the stuff that's going to happen in there. We've seen the buff uh, get, be like a map and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I think here, this is telling you, this is the year of the gecko. It just is. 46, all gecko, all day, every day. Okay. They should have to Four eat gecko. a gecko. Yeah. Eat a gecko? You ate an ant. I guess so. Is that a challenge? I mean, it would be challenging. Yeah. Okay. Chappelle, well, if you want to play along at home, uh, whether mm -hmm. or not you have to eat a gecko, you are mm -hmm. going to have an opportunity, okay? Because okay. I want to show you about something that just got announced, okay? okay? Survivor itself says, do you have what it takes to outwit, outplay, and outlast? Get ready to find out on Survivor Horizon Island, a new Meta Horizon interactive social VR experience coming soon to Meta Quest. Okay, Chappelle, feast your eyes on this. This is the brand new Survivor virtual reality game. Survivor's ready. Okay. Go. Now it's your turn. My turn. Play iconic. Survivor Let's go. Challenges. Pick it up. On virtual Outwit. Outplay. Emotion. Outlast. Welcome to Survivor Horizon Island. RSVP now. Well, I got an RSVP. <laughs> I don't know. Chappelle, Is it booked? Are you going to be buying a Horizon, uh, a Meta Horizon to play Survivor VR? Rob, I need you to explain this to me like I'm five years old. VR rules. Okay. What the hell is a Meta Horizon? I don't know. Uh, apparently, okay. it is the Facebook, and I'm sure that people in the chat might be able to tell us. Okay. Uh, but it's the Facebook, like Oculus, virtual reality headset where you can log in and play this brand new official Survivor virtual reality game. Your friend and mine, Davey, is pissed. He says, I literally just bought an Apple Vision this weekend, and then y'all pull this. Y'all be making you know, that stuff. Did you know Davey an Apple had the Apple Vision? I don't know what an Apple Vision is. Am you don't I know just... what that is? You didn't see Unk the, old. Like the headset of... Unk old. He old. This is an old man. I, I don't have it in me. I don't know. I can't keep up with all the things the kids is doing. Davey older than me. Unk, sit, sit down, Grandpa. Sit down, Papa. Wrap it up. Carolyn, Mama C says, I can't wait. I want to play. She older than Davey. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? Y'all got taxes to do. Uh, uh, some, some, I know Davey do needlepoint. You ain't got no knitting to do, Davey? Carson says, us Roblox Outlaster folk are freaking out right now. Okay. Uh, Carson playing Roblox. That is death <laughs> on par. He is, he is 13. Karishma is asking. Uh, I'm all for this, but why is there a girl playing Survivor in a sari? <laughs> Look, it's inclusive, Karishma. Damn. Okay. All right. Uh, Claire Rifus uh, says this is iconic. See, she can play Survivor <laughs> from her home like she did Big Brother. <laughs> all right. Chappelle, would you go out and play a virtual reality Survivor? No. What? No. You can I do mean, some maybe. motion. I could do some motion. That's true. This will take Brent Steele to the next level, Rob. Yeah. You, you, you know, F, F the things that we do, the simulation and stuff like that, bro. We just run it through Meta Survivor Box, Roblox, whatever <laughs> this thing is called, Vision, yeah. and let it play out. I think this is changing the game. This is changing the way the game is played, Rob. Yeah, honestly, it's reinventing it. This might be the thing that, that maybe they use this to filter out Survivor contestants, right? Oh, interesting. Like, yeah, like this will be like the the pre quiz that they give you on Jeopardy. You know, like you can get on the show, but you got to do. We got to make sure that you're, you know, you're not gonna embarrass us on TV because we've seen a lot of quits. Not to say they were embarrassing. Live your life, mm -hmm. but we've seen a lot of quits in the new era. Maybe this is kind of like if you can't take this part, then you don't you don't make it to the next round. Like you got to be able to win Roblox Survivor before getting to this. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, Chappelle, I want to talk to you about a mystery that needs to be cracked in the Survivor universe. I know you recently were a guest on Crime Scene, RHAP's uh, true crime podcast hosted by Mari and Sarah, where they mm -hmm. look at a different true crime property every week. But I do have a mystery case for you to 
think about. And it's a social media mystery. And that mystery okay. is, Chappelle, what in the world happened to the Survivor Twitter account? What, what, what do you mean? What do you, what do you, okay. What do you mean? Survivor Twitter account has been tweeting for, I'd say, over a decade about Survivor always and never missing a Wednesday. But Chappelle, something curious happened on the night of November 18th, 2023, the week before Thanksgiving. Okay. That is Let's the see. last time that the Survivor Twitter account has tweeted. Uh, tacos has sometimes just take twat. priority. Yes. Has twat? Is twat yes. the, the, the past tense of tweet? Ask Jelinski. Yes. The tw twat. Yeah. Okay. Twat. Yeah. Twatted. Twat. Twat. Yeah. Okay. So the last tweet that y'all quote was, tacos sometimes just take priority. Maybe, Rob, for the November last- November 18th, 2023. For the past several months. Maybe tacos have taken a priority. Maybe this person's on a permanent <laughs> taco uh, binge. Is this person on a permanent taco break? Yeah. Like, uh, cause I'm seeing the tweet and it looks good, but baby, this is Brian Scally. Look yeah. no further. Yeah. Look, we don't we, need, we don't need this. We have there Scally. Was normal content coming through. Here is Kelly back at the event that we were at November 17th, November Queen 17th, Kelly. the win that Emily needed November Iconic 18th. Day. We hit the wall. What happened, Chappelle, on November 18th, 2023? Um, did, uh, did Survivor air on November 18th, 2023? Well, well, what's going on here? What are we doing? What's see. the schedule? Was that, a, like? was that a Wednesday? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, National mm -hmm. Adoption Day. Uh, yeah, National so on... Mickey Mouse birthday. Yes. Uh, Chappelle, uh, we have uh, that. Uh, the legend, Jelinski, is in the chat. He says, uh, that was actually only four months ago, Chappelle, not seven. Seven roll. Seven roll, Jelinski. Love you, bro. Love you. Yes, thank you. Legend. Yes. Legend. Jelinski legend. is a legend. Yes. All right. Right. But Chappelle, what happened? Did they lose the password? Did the hey. did the social media person, uh, did they go on sabbatical? It's a taco. It's a taco sabbatical. Did, which Did Survivor change strategy? Has Survivor abandoned the Twitter account for another social Elon's media account. Twitter? Maybe they're, are they on, what's it called? Blue Threads? Sky? What was the are one? Are they on thread? Yeah, somebody check to see if Survivor is threading? F find out threading? if they're threading. I'm threading. You're not threading? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> to where I might be threading. <laughs> Good. Well, you know who's not threading? Ben, he was shredding. He was he's you know, shredding. He's yeah. shredding. It happens. Yeah. And Jelinski is betting, but are they he's threatened? Betting. Are they threatened? I don't know. I feel like I feel like Survivor might be threatened. I think they might have moved on to the next. Did Survivor pivot? It would be a good thing to do. You know, you can't keep it the same all the time. This is a new era. Maybe they're drawing a new era of social media. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't know if it's uh, exactly. Right, right in the middle of the Survivor season. Right in the middle of Survivor 45. Okay, Rob. I Look, the chat is saying that Big Brother and the Amazing Race Twitter stopped that week as well. Rob, I need you to fact check this. Go see if Big Brother Twitter, not the Big Brother Twitter, but the Big okay. Brother Twitter account is still tweeted. Because this might be a CBS the off season. I mean, just I'm just saying the Amazing okay, Race let me is Because, you see. know. <laughs> Also, uh, Sam in the chat is saying that uh, they are on threads. Survivor is on threads. Are they? Are they threading? Are us? they threading? What's are their they threat threatened? level? Yeah. Okay. What, are yeah. they managing their thread level? <laughs> All right. I do. I just want to know what Sam was reading to see that they were threading. <laughs> tell us about the. Tell us about it. Okay. Um, so big brother is big brother. Yeah. Tweeting. Okay, or or they have they completely said okay from a, a top level we are not going to be posting on Twitter anymore. Maybe the it's amazing a race thing. The amazing race might be who you want to check because you're right. Big Brother was over, but the amazing race has had reason to tweet since then. Oh, look at this, Chappelle! Oh my God! What if you're onto something? Because What's happening. The last tweet from the Big Brother account, November fourteenth, twenty twenty three. Bitch. 
They didn't wow. even tweet during reindeer games. Not even during. Hey, we're just now noticing. Rob, are we part of the problem? I don't know. No, but I, I, that I, I was aware of the survivor, but the amazing hey. race. Okay. <laughs> you gotta keep your, you gotta keep your head on the swivel, man. Okay. You gotta look obviously. Check this out. out here. Okay. Check this out. Okay. Sam got me the link for the amazing race Twitter account. Their last tweet, Chappelle, November 16th, 2023. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Does Elsbeth have a Twitter account? <laughs> Does have we Elspeth? ditched have we ditched everything for a CBS Elsbeth? Is there an official Elsbeth Twitter account? I don't know. I think it, there was one the other day. Uh, 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 okay, you, you Elsbeth, so? CBS, and uh, oh, check this out, Chappelle. You're, uh -huh. th you, this is gonna uh, this is gonna blow don't your do mind. This. Okay, don't do this. I don't know if I can take it. Okay, Elsbeth has a Twitter account. Check this out. Official gotta drop, plant that follow. Official account for <laughs> Elsbeth. Last tweet, November what? 13, twenty twenty. This wasn't even <laughs> show. Was this a wait? Yeah. Was this a show already? It said, "I'm thrilled to find. Uh, I'm thrilled to finally start shooting and sharing this new show with y'all. And isn't it fitting that Elsbeth CBS premieres on February 29th, which is Leap Day? Nothing ordinary about that." <laughs> Dog. So Dog. on November 13th, Elsbeth told us that the premiere was going to be February 29th, but nothing since. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Go up. I want to see the top of the page. Low, look, join September 2009. Who, who <laughs> I think they changed it from another show. I think it's still the Twitter this? that was a canceled show. And what then they, was they changed it to Elspeth. Was, what show was this? Is this Young Rock? What show was this? CBS 2009. What show? What show was this? <laughs> Young Rock was on Paramount. Okay. Was it The Good Wife? My, maybe, it was the, maybe it was The Good Wife. I don't know. Maybe, Let's see. Maybe it was The Big Bang Theory. Are we going down this rabbit hole? Are we seeing who Elsbeth is following on Twitter? I mean, this is like yes, vintage Chappelle. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. I love to see who's about? the first person that Elsbeth is following. It was, I saw How Eliza. Many, was it a lot of follows? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at following, right? Not followers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Following. All right. Brain Dead CBS. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Bernadette that Peters. Probably... It was following the good fight. What is that? That's a good the good the good wife spinoff. Well, scroll Mr. down, scroll down, go back, go back. Yes, oh, yes. From from heroes versus. Look, I'm sorry. There's too much going on. Okay, so why is just up a little bit more? Go up. Do, do, okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Why is the good fight promoting Elsbeth? It says follow Elsbeth for all updates on the good fight. What mm -hmm. is what is happening? Is this is Elsbeth in charge of this? Is, is <laughs> Elsbeth the Survivor Twitter account? Bro, yeah. my mind is blown. Bro. Okay. All right. I, I, Sam's I just, saying that the bios are all up to date, but they're just not tweeting anymore. Why would why would Elsbeth follow Mr. Spectacular? Well, they follow. Yeah, was well, a villain, famous, very famous villain. Uh, uh, follows soon Eliza, to be in all, the House of Villains. At least Eliza's a lawyer. Yeah, she's not a villain. So and also Elspeth, a, a, a New York City resident, which is the, <laughs> the place where Elsbeth happens. Those are the two most famous follows that they have on here. It looks like yeah. followers. I Let mean, me see. Anybody? It's tough. <laughs> we really went down the rabbit hole. Of... This matters to me. This really does. <laughs> Who? Wendell Pierce. Oh. Wendell Pierce. <laughs> Shit. That Wendell Pierce? You think, think Wendell so. Pierce is going to watch Elsbeth? I don't know. Maybe is he part of the look, Good Wife look. universe? What? Yeah, I was like, look, the Good Fight, Brain Dead, Good Wife, and Elsbeth. Robert King. Who are you? Is he the producer? He Robert does King shows. is the problem. He does shows. The, yeah. He's the he's the he's the problem. We got to get an interview with Robert King here on 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 the Club Condo. Can we get okay. Robert King on Club Condo, Rob? <laughs> okay. All right. She... Chappelle. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's let's should we talk about this is Club Condo. It yeah. makes sense that we should talk about survivors when they're out in the club, right? In the club. Post in the it club. Up. In the club, yeah. and and Bryce and Wendell were back out for the premiere of Survivor 46. It was uh, BWP back in action, and they were in New York City for a jam-packed event, and there were some special guests there. Uh, Chappelle, let's uh, check check this out, okay? Because uh, I think this was on absolutely 
Nobody's bingo card. Look who showed up. The Bryson Wen presents. It was none other than the great Jonathan Penner. You can find him in the club. Yes. Bottle full of bub. Yes. There he is. That's that's Johnny P. Jo yeah. Chappelle. Wait, it's in yes. What do you think Penner's reaction was to being out at Bryson Wen Presents? Rob, I don't know, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. <laughs> wow. I'm out here in the club. Look at all these kids getting faded watching Survivor. Bollocks. Does Penner know who Wendell is? I think so. I, I bet I he. So. I, I bet. I bet he does. I don't think so. I bet I he does. So. He does. I, I. He does because like, he watched. Uh, first off, that that he was on the tribe with Yule in Survivor. Oh, Winners at War. yes, yes, so, yes, yes. So yes, yes. So, yeah, he's he, been introduced. He, def he definitely knows. Yeah, yeah. Penner, His kids look, are all faded. Penner so is faded. aging really well. He's he yes. really yeah, look. This, is Pinner anti getting faded? Because I don't know. I always thought me and Pinner could be friends, but if he's anti faded, he'll I don't get know. faded. He'll get a he'll little get faded. faded. Yeah. He gets faded. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. it was like a whole Survivor Micronesia reunion where what? that there was uh well Jason was basically Siska? not Jason Siska, but the whole favorites Tracy uh, Wolf that forty percent of the favorites tribe was there. Forty percent. It was Penner, Sari, okay. Eliza, okay. and Fair Play. Okay, so we were missing Parvati, uh, Ozzy, pa Amanda, Amanda, James, James. Yao Man, uh, Yao Man, Yao Man, don't come to this. I don't think Yao Man's been out to Bryson Wen yet. Okay, um, we gotta get and Yao then Man out. Amy and Amy and Amy. Yes, look, look. This is. I think the Micronesia cast that might be the one you want to get faded with. They that the 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 favorites. I that might be yeah. the crew. Okay, Chappelle. Uh, if you could go to the club with one tribe from Survivor history, who would it be? The Goliath's tribe from David versus Goliath. Easy. Okay. All right. So let's Easy. see. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go through it. Okay. Easy. All right. All right. The the Goliath tribe. Okay. Easy. So starting with, of course, Mike White. Of course. I mean, the, if I if I get faded with Mike White, I'm gonna be on the White Lotus, baby. That's maybe, the goal. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Then, then you got the mayor of Slamtown. The, jo the the George Bush Yatushi, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, yep. I know him. John Hennigan. Yep. Okay. Uh, Hot Cop Dan. Hot Cop Dan. Uh, I don't know if you like to get faded, though. I don't know. He's like, yeah. yeah. Okay. He might be the first downside. Um, let me see. Let me see uh, who else is there in that tribe. Uh, Jeremy. Queen Natalie. Yeah, well, I'm Je gonna, let's, uh, let's, let me go. Let me go do the uh, you know, build up. <laughs> well, I gotta, that uh, if we just bounce around, let me at least try to like uh, keep it organized. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jer you got Jeremy. Yeah, he okay. sounds like he might be a good time when he's not starving on an island. And Alec Merlino, star of the White Lotus, St star of the White Lotus, who we know <laughs> in the White Lotus got faded. Got faded. He had a funky he good time faded. on the White Lotus. I yes. there some, yeah, there were okay. other things going on too. Dear God, I was like, he got aided. Your, no, he no, got aided. No, yeah, no, he else, definitely so. got aided. No, that that wasn't him. I think it was a different guy. Oh, okay. Somebody was getting aided. Yeah, it was. And then, I was like, get your face out of there. Okay. Uh, then you have Angelina, uh, Queen Mother. Uh, you have Kara, Queen Mom, Doctor Alyssa, Doctor Allison. Allison, don't be disrespectful. Mm. Yeah, see, <laughs> Doctor Alyssa, who the fuck is Muffin? Doctor Allison. The, the the editors and the producers hated her enough that season. They poisoned that woman, Rob. Please. <laughs> Put some respect on her. She's an MD for God's sakes. Um now, Natalie, we'll come I want to come back to her. I want to do her last. But who's who am I missing? Who's the who's the who's the other? There's a woman that I'm missing, right? Uh, I wasn't counting. I I, yes. I honestly okay. left it up to you to handle. That's only that's <laughs> only four women. Uh, uh there's gotta be somebody else. Chat, who who am I missing? I said Angel I said Angelina, Tara, mm -hmm. Allison, Natalie. There's one other one other uh Goliath woman that Natalia. I Natalia. 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 She yeah. was a Goliath? She was Goliath. She was a Goliath. Yeah, she was a Goliath. You don't remember? Remind me, what was she a Goliath of? I remember. 
a, a Goliath of sorts, you know, of things. A Goliath of sorts. A Goliath of sorts. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Chappelle. Okay. So I wanted to go to Natalie last because uh, we had some news about Natalie this week because it was announced. Did you see this, Chappelle? That there was mm -hmm. some casting news for the next season of The White Lotus, season three. Uh, here we go. Uh, it was reported that Survivor David versus Goliath castaways Natalie Cole and Carl Boudreau, Godfather Carl, bing, will reportedly have cameos on season three of The White Lotus. This made my heart smile so hard. I fell to my knees in front of the five below parking lot. I just le <laughs> legit was like, what the hell? Like this, this is, okay, for anybody who doesn't know, the David versus Goliath cast of Survivor is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Both tribes. I picked I picked the Davids, but I could have easily picked the Goliaths. These are my two the, the icons of this season for me. Uncle Carl was my winner pick. Uh, I have been faded with Uncle Carl before, Rob. So Yeah, he <laughs> got faded. He got faded and also. He got faded. We got faded together. Uncle Carl, that's my boy. And then the queen, mom, mother. She has seen me faded. I don't think she got faded with me. She's, she's above that. But yeah, they're going to be on the White Lotus. And I'm starting to think, is Mike White yeah. going to get the entire cast on All eventually? Right. So this is a great question here because I guess the the question is, it's a, so is, is the rubric here for Mike White must be a cast member of David versus Goliath to appear? You had Alec Merlino in season one, then mm -hmm. Cara and Angelina in season two, and now Natalie and Carl... Okay, and we still have uh, Christian and Gabby and the mayor of Slamtown and Davey and uh, like where we have uh, and, uh, um, and and several others. But we're, are we are we getting are we going to get to everybody? Are we going to get to are we going to get all 20? Okay, so you can't get all 20. Let's say let's let's just foresee maybe the White Lotus having six seasons. That means we got three seasons down. We have six more players from Dave versus Goliath to put on mm -hmm. the White Lotus. I mean, we've gone pre-merge, but I don't really think you have to hang out there too long. I think Natalie's the one you go get from the pre-merge. You got to go back to the merge tribe. Who are we missing? Like, because because I, 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 do we need Gabby and Christian on a season? Yes. Okay, that's two. All right, what about Davy and the jo the George Bushy of Tushy, John yes. Hennigan? Sure. Okay, that's four. Who are our final two spots? Elizabeth. Hmm. Do we get Elizabeth? She would be bad. She's maybe a character actor. Yeah, character actor. What about Dr. Allison? It's the least you can do after you screw her name up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if Mike White has to pay the price for my mistake, but um, I, I think they were friends from the show. Dr. Allison voted for, they were not friends. Remember, Mike was very mean to her, but she voted for oh, Mike White. Yes, she she voted for Mike White. Brandon Donald so maybe... says, let Pat Cusack cook. Look, Pat died on that season. The least we can do is is remember his uh, like his his sacrifice by putting him on the white lotus. Because matter of fact, every season we get a dead body. Just throw Pat oh, into the ocean. Yes, he should be. He dies on a boat. Is that what happened? Yeah. Just a yeah. I we mean, look, wouldn't be the first time he got killed in the first episode, right? That part, it's kind of his thing. <laughs> Bring back Pat. Bring back Pat. Bring back Pat. Yeah, but seriously, uh, Penner would be great too. If you got yeah, Johnny season. P. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love that guy. I love Pinner. You got to get him on. You have to get Jonathan Pinner on this show. Yes. Can you do okay. that for me? I, Rob, I don't ask you for much. I, I mean, the you things I do ask you show, for. You want, you, you want him on, on this show or you want him on the White Lotus? No. I, I don't give a shit. The White Lotus is fine. Yes. I don't want to talk to Johnny P. Can we okay. get Johnny P here at Club Condo? We can try. he get faded with me? All right. Let's if, get faded. All right. Rob, if you facilitate the meeting Chappelle between guy. me and John Jonathan Penner, I am not mm -hmm. going to be okay. I am not going to be okay. Like you will have to come get me. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. The way and I will then... be gelling and retelling that story for the rest of my life. He's a yeah. he's a storytelling guy, Rob. He's gelling and storytelling. It's what I, he does. I'm <laughs> telling. That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> exactly. All right. Chappelle, are you ready? My for, eyes okay, so, up. 
Um, okay, right. go ahead. <laughs> I told you. So Bryson, when they had the big party, they got a lot of attention, but this was not the only Survivor premiere party that was going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There was another big Survivor premiere party that was down in Florida. Okay. Oh. Okay. All that right. Already and sounds dicey. Yes. Okay. It was down in Florida, and uh, there was a lot of a lot of survivors that were there. I think that uh, Bruce was down there. Bruce, uh, Bruce. For, yeah, and and it was all put together by Janet Carbon. And so, Chappelle, look, I saw a lot of videos and clips from the mm -hmm. people getting faded in New York, faded. but maybe faded and rated. The what? Can I? Can, I'm going to share a clip here. Maybe the, this was the wildest party that we missed out on. I have f extreme FOMO after looking at this, okay? I want to bring a, you some okay. video of the party. Oh, yeah. Here, here. let me show you the clip. So this was from a little behind the scenes of oh, getting yeah. ready for the premiere watch party at the Beach Fly Brewery here. Uh, we had Bruce was there, Janet, Heather, um... Ashley from Survivor, uh, Heroes versus Healers versus Hustlers, Mama C, mm -hmm. Dr. Carl, Joe Del Campo, Jesse Camacho, Morgan, Morgan from Ricky? Ghost Island. Yes. <laughs> Dear God, how'd they get him? And, and there was also a, a, a woman from Naked and Afraid and a woman from The Amazing Race. Okay. Okay? All right. So... They got together and okay. can I can I bring in a little bit of the action from the pre-party? Were they I naked and afraid? On, well, no, they weren't naked and afraid, but uh, let me show you oh, this. I saw mind. this on Facebook today and I was like, man, I, I got invited to this and I didn't go and I missed out. Okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, let me just set okay. this up. Let me set this up here. Okay. This is from okay, Janet shared this uh shared this video. And they have this oh. contraption, three sixty, a three sixty selfie machine. Okay, yeah. we don't have video from the three sixty selfie machine, but we have video of the three sixty selfie machine in action. Okay, is this someone's okay. home? I, th I this is somebody. I guess so. This is somebody's yeah, home. I can tell so, by the steel that Janet is getting down with her bad self. All right, Chappelle, you ready for the you ready for the video? Oh yeah. Here we go. Check this out. Okay. You I I, I could stop this if you want to describe the action at all, okay? Okay. Yeah, all right, sure. Here we go. Get down on it. 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 I'm trying. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Throw my hip out. I said people. Okay. What you going to do? Okay, now this is Dr. Carl from Survivor Africa. Boy, I I'm glad you said it. Cause I, I want to I point out, on, and on the TV, it looks like we're watching Elmo. Um, there's too much going on. I really just want, <laughs> just want things to slow down. Yeah, um, this is like a Big Brother competition where there's going to be a quiz at the end of this video. Okay, so pay attention. I, I was like, why is Janet dancing with Gary Busey? No, this is Dr. Carl. Put some respect on his name, Dentist Carl. Dentist okay? Carl. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Get down okay. on it. <laughs> There's Mama C sighting. Mama C with Elmo. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Willie, you're going to be Come on, Willie. Get this thing spinning. Okay. Get it spinning. Okay, I need people out of the area. You're not get it spinning. This is incredible. Where was I? You, I, you, not at the right, right premiere party. Okay. All right. I want to go now, there. All right. All right. Chappelle, now we get the survivors on. We got the thing spinning, okay? Okay. You ready? Got spinning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 360 selfie machine activated. Oh. Let's go. This is like a, a survivor challenge, right? <laughs> it's got it's again. a motion. Yeah. This is very cool. Rob, why don't we this, have a 360 I don't thing know. at, at this the live is show? A very high piece, uh, high technology. <laughs> Rob, thing. I think if Nobody if you don't have this. one of these, if you don't have one, then what are we doing at these live shows in Chicago, Rob? Have why this. am I even coming? Nobody why? has this. Answer me why. Why? Why don't you have it? 
If it's good enough for Janet Carbon, it should be good enough for the RHIP patrons. I want one at the Chicago show. Dagger, you could be on the stage uh, talking and oh, the oh, three, uh, 360-ing. You telling me <laughs> like it's my idea. You to make this happen. I want one. Janet Carbon got one. If if Dentist Carl would go to this, I think he would come to Chicago and bring his 360 booth. <laughs> this is beach incredible. House, they, this, this group of people, I feel like if 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 the punch is hitting the right way, this group right here might get a little nasty. And I would love to see it. Yeah. Well, okay. Let me here, let me go back to it. Okay. All right, here we go. One one, one more. Where do we get the footage from the phone? I need yeah, to who's see recording? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose phone is it? It's probably it's probably uh dentist Carl's phone. Uh, Maybe. I, I could see that. And yeah, we need that. We need that. Did you see the upside down pineapple in the back? <laughs> I did not catch that. Oh, yeah. don't worry about but it. Man, don't worry about look, it. Look, it's everybody's like, oh, these kids are getting faded. It's it's the it's the down in Florida where the action is happening. Listen, book my flight. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to That's see. That's what, what we're like. talking about on Club Condo. Club Condo, where it go down. <laughs> All right. I love it here. This is fun. Okay. We're getting one of them boots. Yeah. Boots down, right? Boots down per. <laughs> what else, Chappelle? I don't know, man. This has been fun. You got anything else you want to talk about? Uh, Ooh. I don't know. There's uh I think I think I have someone on Twitter that I could talk to you about cuz we have not really like Yeah. I got, I got also I got text from Brandon Donlin. I don't know if I can talk about it on the show. Brandon Donlin be texting you? Wow, must be nice. Yeah. Wish I was friends with Brandon Donlin. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Okay, so I don't know how to get a text from from uh, Brandon Donlin into my into the show unless I. Okay. Yeah. I right, look. Hear me out. Friend of the of Club Condo. I just announced him that friend of Club Condo. Josh Kettles sent me some inside scoop. It's we got to go back to Jelinski. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Some potential content. Okay. There was a change.org petition started six years ago to change the definition of several to mean seven. Okay. People have been pushing this narrative well be well before we got here. Look, check check the chat. Look at that. Change.org. We're we're late to the party. They needed to get to 200 go signatures. Yeah. And they stopped just short at 161. <laughs> Rob, I think in, in this true Jelinski fashion, they stopped short of the goal. <laughs> they would but they would never quit. Except there's one time where they could have quit it. The decision makers are Miriam Webster and Miriam Webster editors. It's been several years since then. Is that we can Maximus push for mom? This. Uh, yeah, yes, Maximus mom. Yes, okay, but yeah, it's been a long time. We can push mm -hmm. for this. We can we can put this over the top. Patrons, yeah. RJP listeners, y'all know what to do. Let's see. Sign our petition. We got to put it in the chat. Sam, handle it. Gelman, uh, and then uh, you know. Let's make this happen because uh, imagine their surprise when several years later they get the notification <laughs> that their petition worked. Seven real years later. Yep. Okay. We're gonna be on the right side of history with this one. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> let me see. Uh, let me just uh, if I've got the the Brandon Donlin uh, tweet. Uh, let me see if I can. All right, here we go. All right, pulled from that. Okay. <laughs> he says. Uh, I will do a live phone number reveal on Club Condo on Saturday. Uh, by the way, next week on Club Condo, Chappelle and I are going to be joined in Club Condo by the 17th place finisher society of the new era as uh, we're going to have a Brandon Donlin, Maddie, and Zach Wartenberger all here with us in one big show on Club Condo next week. Brandon Dolan, of all those 17th places, the only one I didn't draft. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, okay. this is going to be great. I, I I find it funny that Brandon Dolan thinks he has to do a phone number reveal here on Club Condo, considering 75% of people who listen to this probably have his number. Already have his phone number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop it. It's the most popular man alive. Stop it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, Naomi corrects us. It's the several teenth place club. But yeah, Sam, please get all the graphics corrected. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh yeah and then this is one i guess this is a uh a, a facebook reaction to 
uh, the latest episode from somebody else from a Survivor's past. Uh, Scout Cloud Lee had a reaction to this week's uh, Survivor episode. Chappelle, okay. uh, let me share that one. Okay. For the first time in a long time, the correct person got voted off first in Survivor. Zelensky. Zelensky. Z are you Zelen? Zelensky, yes. Are you are you Zelen Rob or are you more of a PayPal guy? <laughs> I'm a cash out myself, but y'all knew what that. What a megalomaniac and profoundly <laughs> lacking self-awareness. Hopefully, this will be a life-altering lesson for the young man. So Scout comes out very strongly in opposition of Zelensky. I don't does know if it's want, opposition. Does not want any funding for Zelensky, it looks like. No, but willing to zell, willing to zell when necessary. Uh, Scout does not is a have Zelensky's back. No, no, but Scout is a legend, right? And Zelensky just joined the ranks with people like Scout Cowley, who are legends in Survivor history. So if Scout say it, <laughs> I, you know, we have to take some. We have to take some. You know, take it into cons consideration. I guess I'd say right, but we don't necessarily have to give you know, all of Scout, you know, the clout of that. You know, she doesn't get to make that decision. We get to decide if we're gelling or not, right? And so she might be gelling, but we're still gelling here with Jelinski. <laughs> we're gelling. Okay. We're gelling. All right. <laughs> all right. Chappelle, what a great kickoff to Club Condo. Club Condo is open for business. Open for business. Sometimes underwater, sometimes above water, but we're here regardless. We're gelling. That's what this dance move is called. We're gelling. <laughs> uh, we be gelling. You know, uh, we'd be in the club with John <laughs> Glove Glove underwater. You know, there's so much going on here at Club Condo. I'm having so much fun, Rob. This is We're great. We're getting Perfect. faded every week. Okay. Faded and X-rated. Let's go. Yes. Okay. All right. And next week, we'll have a podcast very anticipated as we are going hey. to have the uh, several teenth place club finishers uh, the, join us next week here in Club Condo. Uh, that's going to be the end of a great week of podcasts here and yeah. we're going to have jam jam with me live after the episode for the post game show. And then I'll talk to the second person, the, this next episode's 17th place finisher in our exit interview. And then we'll have Steven fish back for survivor. Mm -hmm. Know it alls. And then I'll get into his patron feedback on Friday. All right. Not to mention also Chappelle later on tonight, you and I are going to be back together for Dundee. Dundee. Deal or Chappelle, no deal island. We're doing it. Jenny and I, every week, we're talking about Survivor legend Boston Rob on Deal or No Deal Island. And join us after that episode tonight for our recap of episode two of Deal or No Deal Island. And then on Tuesdays, Chappelle has an exit interview with whoever gets kicked off of Deal or No Deal Island. How about that? Yep. I'm excited. Check out last week's exit interview. If you're not following Dondi, what are you doing? This is your official endorsement. Dylan No Deal Island, it's decent. It's very cool. Boston Rob is doing Boston Rob things. He's doing the greatest hits, and we're having a fun time talking about it. So check that out. And then, of course, check out the exit interviews. I'm having a good time. Okay. Chappelle, what else is coming up for you on Recap Kickback? I just don't have enough subscribers on Recap Kickback, Rob. I yes. feel how like many, people... How many more could you use? Several? Several hundred. Okay? Seven or <laughs> hundred. Okay, recapkickback.com is where you can find all the, the podcast content, but you can go to youtube.com slash at recap kickback, as you can see right there on my on my screen at recap mm -hmm. kickback and hit that subscribe button. It's a lot of people listening to this that didn't know Chappelle had a, a podcast. It's a kickback. Jalinski said it. It's legendary. Kickback. It's your legendary. So check it out. Go hit that subscribe button. Try to get me to like 600 just to start, you know, because we're, we're a month in. We're, we're building a family here and I'm taking suggestions. So you can always email me at uh, recapkickback at gmail.com to let me know what you want me to talk about. I'm talking about your favorite shows. I'm talking about shows you haven't heard of. I'm talking about fun stuff. I did the Enneagram podcast over there. We re-released that. It's a good time. Recapkickback.com. Check it out. Okay. Um, Amy in the chat wants to know, oh, exit interview too. I missed last week's. So I'll have to find it. It's on YouTube. Yes. Yes, it is it on is. YouTube. So check out Chappelle's interview with the first player who is voted off uh, or uh, got out on deal or no deal. <laughs> it's not a vote. It's not a vote. It is a, it's there's, technically a vote. There's, it's a unanimous vote even. There's a, they play deal or no deal. And if they don't beat the banker, they get to pick somebody to go home. Okay. To so, vote out, Rob. And that's on the RHAP YouTube account. Now, not the Chappelle yes, YouTube account. Yes, that's on the uh, RHAP YouTube channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got all that. Plus, uh, Chappelle and I got back together for nothing but Netflix as well. We talked about the number one movie on Netflix right now. It's called Spaceman. And we were joined by... 
a man who knows uh, a thing or two about space and aliens. That's Akiva Winokur from uh, our Robin Akiva Nita podcast to talk about the Sandman's latest movie, Spaceman. Not a comedy. No, no. And it doesn't pretend to be. I don't think I laughed one time, but it's Adam nope. Sandler. As the Sandman slash Spaceman, uh, Rob and I have a really great debate on nothing but Netflix this week about whether or not there's a, a, the giant spider is a real alien or a figment of Adam Sandler's imagination. So either check out the podcast and listen to us uh, debate it out and decide who wins or or watch the show and then come check out what we're talking about on nothing but Netflix because we go we go uh, toe to toe and Akiva breaks the tie. But we want to hear what everybody's thinking. Is this a real spider or not? Check it out on nothing but Netflix. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. We love it when you like and subscribe the video. Take care of a good one. Bye.